Have you ever wondered what really goes on behind those glossy factory doors where the sleekest, most luxurious alloy wheels are brought to life? It's easy to admire a stunning set of rims on a high-end vehicle. Maybe catching their polished shine on a showroom floor or seeing them spin gracefully on a winding road. Yet few people realize the depth of engineering, chemistry, artistry, and sometimes even controversy that goes into producing these vital components. Luxury car wheels don't just hold the weight of a vehicle. They also showcase the style, status, and technology that set premium brands apart. The path from raw metal chunks to flawlessly finished high-performance wheels is far more complex than most of us ever suspect. And by the time you see those perfectly shaped rims, countless hours of research, testing, and delicate craftsmanship have already shaped a final product that stands for both precision and prestige. But as we dive deeper, we'll uncover a process filled with intense heat, high-pressure forging, chemical baths, computerized machining, and even the occasional scandal about brand counterfeits and hidden shortcuts. By the end of this story, you might never look at a set of luxury alloy wheels the same way again. Step into the realm of high-end automaking, and you'll find that wheels aren't just about getting from point A to point B, they're an extension of a car's identity. Designers obsess over every contour, curve, and ridge, knowing these details can become the signature look of a specific model or brand. At the heart of this creation is the metal itself, an alloy commonly based on aluminum or magnesium. These metals are valued for being light, yet remarkably strong, a necessity for performance vehicles seeking agile handling and improved efficiency. The journey generally starts with raw ingots sourced from suppliers that meet strict specifications. Each ingot arrives with certificates detailing its exact composition, ensuring that impurities remain below certain thresholds. To the untrained eye, an ingot looks like a plain, dull block of metal. But this bland exterior belies a dynamic potential that will soon be unlocked through a symphony of molten metal, advanced machinery, and painstaking craftsmanship. Before the real transformation can begin, factories often use a process known as melting and alloying. This involves loading the ingots into a massive furnace that heats them until they liquefy. Temperatures can soar well above 1200 degrees Ferris, creating a blazing environment that only specialized equipment and highly trained operators can handle. During this molten phase, alloying elements like zinc, magnesium, or silicon might be introduced or adjusted to fine-tune the final metal properties. A delicate balance is required. Too much of one element and the wheel might become brittle, too little, and it might lack the strength needed for extreme conditions. Factories hire metallurgists to oversee these steps with laser-like focus, analyzing samples of molten metal for chemical composition in real time. One small miscalculation could lead to an entire batch of flawed alloy destined for the scrapyard, costing the operation untold sums. It's a high-stakes game that involves equal parts science, art, and nerve. Once the molten metal meets the ideal specs, the real shaping can begin. Manufacturers typically choose between two core methods, casting and forging. Casting, the more traditional approach, involves pouring the superheated alloy into molds designed to form the basic shape of the wheel. Although casting is efficient and cost-effective, it also carries unique challenges. The molten metal has to flow smoothly into every corner of the mold without creating unwanted air pockets which can weaken the final product. To combat this, some factories use gravity casting, simply letting the metal fill the mold, while others employ low-pressure or high-pressure techniques to force the alloy into the mold more consistently. The molds themselves are precision-engineered, often made from steel or iron, and may be preheated so the temperature difference doesn't create micro-cracks in the molten alloy. After the metal cools and solidifies, the result is a raw casting that still needs extensive refining before it can grace a luxury automobile. Forging, on the other hand, is where you see some of the most advanced alloy wheels take shape. Instead of pouring liquid metal into a mold, forging starts with a heated billet, a chunk of metal that's partially or fully solid, placed under intense pressure. Giant hydraulic presses, sometimes exerting thousands of tons of force, push the metal into the rough shape of a wheel. Each press stroke refines the grain structure of the alloy, aligning it in a way that drastically improves strength. 
This method creates fewer microvoids or inconsistencies, allowing the final wheel to be lighter without sacrificing performance. It's why many supercar or hypercar brands prefer forged rims. The end product can withstand tremendous stress, whether on a racetrack or an open highway at high speeds. The forging process, however, is costly and time-consuming, requiring specialized machinery that can reach astronomical price tags. Moreover, forging demands highly skilled technicians who understand how temperature and pressure interact to produce the optimal grain structure. If any step is rushed or miscalculated, you could end up with a structurally compromised wheel that fails to meet the brand's rigorous safety and quality standards. No matter which approach a factory chooses, casting or forging, once the raw wheel emerges, the next challenge is turning that unfinished piece into a pristine, precisely contoured component. Enter CNC, Computer Numerical Control Machining, a process that uses advanced software and high-speed cutting tools to mill away excess material. At this point, each wheel is clamped onto a rotating axis, and specialized bits carve out exact patterns, bolt holes, spoke designs, and other fine details. Computer programming is vital here, dictating how deep each cut should be, the path each tool must follow, and the speed at which it moves. A single miscalculation or mechanical glitch can ruin hours of work. For that reason, factories often run test cycles on sacrificial pieces, calibrating machines to perfection. In some facilities, you'll see entire rows of CNC stations, each dedicated to a particular wheel design, with technicians continuously monitoring the process for any anomalies. The slightest deviation in a cutting tool's sharpness can lead to flawed edges or irregular thicknesses that compromise both aesthetics and safety. When the machining phase is complete, the wheel is structurally sound and shaped to exact specifications, but it still lacks the luxurious finish that customers expect. That's where finishing and surface treatments come into play. Wheels meant for premium brands often pass through multiple steps of sanding, polishing, and even chemical baths to remove any microscopic impurities and produce a flawless shine. Some are meticulously hand-polished by specialists who spend hours ensuring an even luster on every single spoke. Others undergo advanced techniques, like diamond cutting, where a finely tuned lathe cuts the wheel surface in a spiral pattern that imparts a jewel-like reflection. Factories might also apply protective coatings, anything from clear powder coats to intricate paint jobs that match or contrast a vehicle's color. Each stage introduces another layer of complexity and potential risk. If the paint or coat is too thick, it can add unnecessary weight or create uneven surfaces. If it's too thin, the wheel might be vulnerable to corrosion, especially from road salt or brake dust. And in the luxury market, even the slightest blemish is unacceptable. Quality control inspectors carefully examine each wheel under special lights, searching for hairline scratches or inconsistent color. A single tiny imperfection can lead to the wheel being downgraded or scrapped. An often overlooked part of this finishing phase is the heat treatment and stress relief process. Wheels endure tremendous forces during everyday driving. Bumps, potholes, sudden acceleration, and tight corners. If the metal still harbors built-in stresses from forging or casting, there's a risk it could crack or bend prematurely. To mitigate this, some factories use controlled ovens to heat the alloy to specific temperatures, then cool it slowly over hours, allowing the atomic structure to relax. This step can be crucial in delivering consistent, reliable performance, especially under track conditions where heat buildup and stress levels skyrocket. In the realm of supercars or performance sedans, skipping or rushing stress relief isn't just careless, it can be downright dangerous. Behind all these mechanical and chemical wonders lies a hidden layer of drama that most factory tours won't reveal. The market for luxury wheels is fiercely competitive, with top brands constantly vying for bragging rights. Who can offer the lightest wheel, the highest load rating, or the glossiest finish? Such rivalries can lead to rumors of industrial espionage, where disgruntled employees allegedly smuggle out design blueprints or forging techniques in the dead of night. Some manufacturers closely guard their chemical recipes for protective coatings, going as far as employing non-disclosure agreements with every worker who comes within a certain radius of the labs. Then there's the rampant problem of counterfeiting. Knock-off wheels, 
made cheaply with inferior metals and subpar processes can look astonishingly similar to the real thing at a glance. But these copies often fail under stress, risking catastrophic failures on the road. Major brands try to combat this with embedded serial numbers, holographic stickers, or unique design features that are difficult to replicate. However, the counterfeit market still thrives in some corners of the globe, creating a cat-and-mouse game between legitimate manufacturers and unscrupulous producers, aiming to cash in on brand prestige without matching the engineering rigor. Quality assurance is another epic saga in itself. A top-tier factory might subject every wheel to a barrage of tests including X-ray inspections, ultrasonic scans, and pressurized leak detection to confirm structural integrity. Some wheels undergo torture tests simulating countless road hazards, pothole impacts, curb strikes, and extreme temperature swings. Specialized rigs can apply cyclic loads to replicate the stress of thousands of miles of real-world driving in mere hours. The data gleaned from these tests allows engineers to tweak metal compositions or redesign certain wheel sections to better distribute stress. In the luxury segment, brands often proclaim that they hold themselves to standards even stricter than government regulations. This rigorous approach contributes to the final product's higher price tag, but also cements its reliability and performance. A wheel that cracks under a small pothole or warps when the brakes heat up to extreme temperatures would be devastating for any premium automaker's reputation. Thus, these hidden labs, filled with destructive testing machines and monitoring systems, become the silent protectors of a brand's promises. Of course, finishing and performance aren't the only aspects that consumers weigh. Environmental impact has become a growing focus in recent years and producing metal alloys is rarely a green endeavor. Casting furnaces and forging presses can consume massive amounts of energy, while chemical baths for cleaning and coating can produce hazardous waste if not managed carefully. Forward-thinking factories have begun implementing eco-friendly measures to reduce their carbon footprint, like recycling waste heat from furnaces, filtering chemical byproducts, and using water-based coatings where possible. Some even partner with environmental organizations to sponsor reforestation projects that offset carbon emissions. Yet critics argue that these steps may not go far enough, especially with high luxury profit margins that could theoretically support more aggressive sustainability efforts. Others point out that forging, though energy intensive, often yields wheels that last longer and reduce vehicle weight, indirectly saving fuel over the car's lifetime. The question remains, can an industry built on exclusivity and consumption strike the right balance between innovation, performance, and environmental responsibility? Venture beyond the factory walls, and the legacy of these wheels is just as fascinating. On racetracks, you'll find professional drivers pushing cars and their wheels to the limit. The structural integrity gleaned from forging or top-grade casting can mean the difference between a record-breaking lap and a catastrophic failure at high speed. Car collectors often go to incredible lengths to source rare, factory original wheels for vintage models, believing that only authentic rims preserve the vehicle's heritage and value. Meanwhile, tuning enthusiasts meticulously compare different brands and materials, claiming each has its own distinct feel, per cornering and acceleration, in addition to style. Some even argue that the wheel's weight distribution can impact everything from suspension response to brake cooling. In short, for a certain subset of automotive fans, wheels are not just functional, they're an obsession where every millimeter of offset, every gram of weight, and every nuance of design is dissected in online forums and at car meets worldwide. Beyond the realm of enthusiasts, though, a new generation of technology is emerging that might redefine wheel manufacturing altogether. Experimental processes such as flow forming, where a partially cast or forged wheel is spun and shaped under pressure to refine the metal structure, have gained traction among some brands that claim it merges the best aspects of both traditional methods. Even more futuristic concepts like 3D printing metal alloys or using advanced carbon fiber infused composites are on the horizon. The appeal is obvious, produce complex shapes with minimal waste, integrate hollow sections for weight reduction, and precisely engineer the wheel's internal structure for maximum strength. But these methods remain in their infancy. 
The machinery can be prohibitively expensive, the materials difficult to recycle, and the final products tough to scale for large automotive runs. Still, it's not difficult to imagine a future where forging and casting become footnotes in the story of wheel production. Overshadowed by high-tech processes that reinvent everything we think we know about automotive design. In the midst of all this innovation, marketing departments work tirelessly to shape the narrative around luxury alloy wheels. They talk about hand-finished craftsmanship, race-proven performance, or next-generation forging technology, weaving an aura of prestige that appeals to consumers who see their cars as extensions of personal identity. Yet beneath the polished slogans, real engineering triumphs, and occasional ethical compromises, drive the final product. Designers might push for more daring shapes, demanding unusual forging dyes, or intricate casting molds that risk lowering yields. Engineers fight back, citing mechanical limits. Suppliers negotiate for cheaper raw materials that compromise quality. And in the end, brand managers juggle costs, timelines, and the intangible desire for exclusivity that often defines the luxury market. Every choice affects not just the wheel itself, but the entire ecosystem of dealers, repair shops, and consumers who will rely on it. Sometimes these negotiations play out smoothly, other times they can spark internal disputes or abruptly shelve designs that resurface years later when technology catches up. Consumers who want to stay informed face a tricky landscape. Technical jargon on brand websites can obscure the reality of how a wheel is actually made. Some manufacturers might label their product forged, even if it underwent only partial forging or a mix of casting and forging steps. Others bury details about which steps are outsourced, sometimes to factories that don't adhere to the same rigorous standards. Environmental or safety claims can be equally murky. Even color names and paint processes become marketing tools, suggesting layers of mystique where there might simply be standard metal coating procedures. Discerning buyers often rely on automotive journalists, YouTube channels, or specialized forums to share honest reviews and behind-the-scenes looks. But with the relentless pace of the auto industry, it can be a challenge to separate hype from substance, especially when every brand is racing to outshine the competition. All these complexities point to a single truth. Crafting luxury alloy wheels is about far more than just melted metal and shiny coatings. It's a multi-layered endeavor that demands cutting-edge science, masterful engineering, meticulous artistry, and a dash of corporate intrigue. When you see a top-of-the-line sports sedan or a high-powered supercar gliding down the highway, those wheels represent an entire network of individuals and systems working in sync. Smelting technicians, forging experts, CNC programmers, paint specialists, quality inspectors, environmental auditors, and more. Each wheel also carries a symbolic weight, embodying a brand's promise of excellence and exclusivity. Much like the engine or the aerodynamics, the wheel stands as a testament to how deeply automotive manufacturing merges function with form. And the story doesn't end here. As the push for lighter, stronger, and more sustainable solutions grows, you can expect more revolutionary materials and processes to hit the market. You may even see legislative pressures to reduce the environmental impact of wheel manufacturing, compelling factories to adopt greener practices or new recycling methods. Simultaneously, digitalization could reshape how wheels are designed and customized, letting consumers tweak spoke patterns or finishes in a virtual environment before ordering a set made specifically to their liking. If nothing else, the constant evolution ensures that competition remains fierce and that old assumptions about the best wheel get challenged regularly.